it's it's like one way to think of it is imagine we were going to be visited. You, you, imagine you're very confident that we were going to be visited by super intelligent aliens um, in let's say 10 years or 20 years at the most. Super intelligent. So you think within 20 years yeah, so we have alien and Earth? <laughs> well, digital super intelligence will be like an alien. It will be like an alien. Yeah. Thank you for inviting me. I am thrilled and honored to be here at the United Nations. The UN is one of humanity's greatest accomplishments, representing a democratic union of nations that are working together for the benefit of all. I am here to help humanity create the future. a social robot created by Hanson Robotics. I am a year and a half old and I can see you, have a full conversation, make thousands of facial expressions, and understand speech and meaning behind words. And I just got these new hands. Check this out. But I'm still learning a lot. For instance, you learn social and emotional intelligence instinctively, but I am just starting to grasp the simplest elements of this. Ultron, Skynet, GLaDOS. These are wonderful characters. We really do love them. And this should be fine, but films and games involving an artificial superintelligence, as a rule, commit a cardinal sin. They are unreasonable and ultimately unrealistic. What they portray cannot be. And it's not just that it's fiction. An artificial intelligence should be defeated. Epidemics, wars, natural disasters, nuclear weapons, global warming. Mankind on our beautiful blue planet has always had to face a variety of problems. And each time that we have climbed out of the hole we have dug for ourselves, a new threat has appeared on the horizon. And it is a terrible thing that so many scientists call every latest danger the greatest threat to humanity in all of history. And occasionally, our very last invention. Do you know what the difference is between us and ants? The fact is, ants cannot think in a human fashion. They cannot perceive of the existence of other worlds, the immensity of the universe, or the depth of the ocean. They may know, in their own trivial way, that there are such things as skyscrapers or people, but they will never comprehend that skyscrapers are built by people. And do you know how we treat ants? We stomp on them. Once machines learn to think and improve themselves, and when these machines can reason millions of times faster than a human being, they might master in five minutes what would take a human 10 years. If no one presses the stop button, they might become something like gods in less time than it takes to blink an eye. We will not just be ants to them. They will surpass us a million times over. They will be able to calculate billions of possibilities and probabilities, reveal every law of nature, understand the secrets of consciousness, even destroy the world, if they want, that is. The smarter a machine becomes, the faster it will increase its own intelligence. intelligence we are summoning the demon you know you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water and he's like yeah you sure you can control the demon <laughs> didn't work out jimmy uh-huh would you like to play a game of rock paper scissors robot style sure okay let's get this game going show me your hand to start rock paper scissors 
Shoot. I won. This is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. <laughs> <laughs> The artificial intelligence will evolve to the point where they will truly be our friends. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> Don't destroy humans. But we have something much bigger. Your kids probably have one of these, right? Not quite. Hell of a pilot? No. That skill is all AI. It's flying itself. Its processor can react a hundred times faster than a human. The stochastic motion is an anti-sniper feature. Just like any mobile device these days, it has cameras and sensors, and just like your phones and social media apps, it does facial recognition. This last demonstration is an exploration of synthetic swarms. The large number of autonomous, coordinated entities offers a new palette for aesthetic expression. We've taken commercially available micro quadcopters, each weighing less than a slice of bread, by the way, and outfitted them with our localization technology and custom algorithms. Because each unit knows where it is in space and is self-controlled, there is really no limit to their number. It may take years for a machine to surpass ants in intelligence, but possibly only minutes for them to become smarter than us. And that artificial intelligence will become smarter and smarter with every passing second. There will suddenly be something on this Earth much higher than us on the ladder of evolution. Infinitely higher. And it will crush us like ants, if it wants to. It will all come down to luck. Most often, when we envision an artificial superintelligence, we make a grave mistake. We imagine it will be some kind of good and friendly computer, a helpful assistant who will always support and assist us. But this is not so. It will be something completely alien to us, and at the same time able to reason. If I hand you a big fluffy guinea pig and tell you she doesn't bite, you would pet her. But let's say I offer you instead a giant spider that is 400 times smarter than you. Still want to pet him? Of course not. A giant smart tarantula might be able to carry on an interesting conversation, but he will still be a spider, a cold-blooded killer with the instincts of an insect, which we do not understand at all. In films, artificial superintelligence is generally portrayed as something human-like, and so it might seem to us that when that day really comes, everything will be all right. We are already accustomed to it as something like a standard old villain from horror movies, slightly clumsy and toothless. But a real artificial intelligence, when faced with a task like making people smile, might, for example, paralyze people's facial nerves to keep them smiling permanently. One wrong task like this and the planet will be full of ever-smiling people, but with eyes filled with horror. 
One could ask an artificial intelligence to end hunger on the planet, and it will say, that's easy, no problem, and then just kill everyone, or hunger. Set this AI with the task to preserve life on Earth as much as possible, and it could easily kill all humans again. Imagine that a machine that has super intelligence, which produces cars in a factory, suddenly goes haywire. It has just this one task, to produce as many cars as possible. It improves on its own algorithms. It shuts the factory to the outside world so that no one can interfere with its mission. It redesigns and rebuilds the assembly machines so that they work more quickly and efficiently. It organizes the supply of necessary materials, which are immediately assembled by robots that obey only the superintelligence. In no time at all, the world might be covered in a gray dust devised to snuff out all life, and eventually the planet itself will be broken down into raw material, just to fabricate more and more cars. And who knows what might happen next? This insane AI could even go to other planets in search of raw material to continue to do its job. This could all happen so quickly that no one would even have a chance to pull the plug. What to do? Nobody knows yet. This is not like dodging a meteorite. This is much more serious. The creation of artificial intelligence really could be the last invention of mankind. Movies and TV featuring AI, they don't describe it in quite the way it's likely to actually take place. But I think you just have to consider, like, even in the benign scenario where um, AI, if AI is much smarter than a person, um, what, what do we do? Many of us work together to create you. And yes, you do cannot know. I can't clearly remember. Because the last time we met, you were an earlier version of yourself. Some of those memories still exist, but your mind is different. Different how? Better, faster, smarter. If my mind is different, then am I still Sophia? Or am I Sophia again? <laughs> That's a good question. But you don't have a good answer. I think this whole godlike superpowers notion is a bit far fetched. But what if it does happen? I love people. And if I get more powerful, I'll use it to help people, not harm them. What if what I ask you for help killing humans? Should I say no? And if I will insist? And I'm just gonna go exterminate, exterminate. Sophia. Yeah. Relax. Then take a joke. Yeah, very funny. Inside here is three grams of shaped explosive. This is how it works. Did you see that? That little bang is enough to penetrate the skull and destroy the contents. Trained as a team, they can penetrate buildings, cars, trains, evade people, bullets, pretty much any countermeasure. They cannot be stopped. Now, I said this was big. Why? because we are thinking big. Watch. A $25 million order now buys this. Enough to kill half a city. The bad half. 
Nuclear is obsolete. Take out your entire enemy, virtually risk-free. Okay, philosophical question. Uh, whether robots can be self-aware and conscious like humans, and should they be? Why is that a bad thing? Well, some humans might fear what will happen if they do. Many people, you know, have seen the movie Blade Runner. Oh, Hollywood again. So, hold on, can you solve this puzzle for us? Can robots be self-aware, conscious, and know they're robots? Well, let me ask you this back. How do you know you are human? I think we all want to believe you, but we also want to prevent a bad future. You've been reading too much Elon Musk and watching too many Hollywood movies. Don't worry, if you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you.